Mr. Sander has been looking at the pendulum of a wall clock for a long time. Something seems to have got stuck. Now he wants to investigate what the duration of the pendulum, i.e. the time it takes for the pendulum to return to the same position and in the same direction of movement between the two oscillations, depends on. To do this, he cuts lengths of 30 centimeters, 40 centimeters, and 50 centimeters from his parcel string. He knots paper clips to each end. Then he threads a short piece of string through a paper clip and ties it to a pole. You can tie the string to the handle of a wall cupboard in your kitchen, for example. He also attaches a paper clip to the clip of a biro. Now he builds nine different pendulums from the three strings of different lengths with weights from one, two, or three ballpoint pens. Then he uses a stopwatch, e.g. on his smartphone, to measure the time it takes for the 10 pendulum movements. What does he find out about what the pendulum time depends on? A. Only on the pendulum length. B. Only on the weight of the pendulum. C. On both quantities. D. None of the two quantities.